what is this ad problem solving methodology it is a methodology that is used to identify correct and eliminate the recurring problems which are typically employed by quality engineers and other professionals with focus on product and process improvement so in this video we are going to understand what are the eight disciplines of problem solving what is this ad format and how do we fill this ad format so without wasting any further time let's start our today's video on ad problem solving methodology hello and welcome to yet another video series from distributed learning your one stop solution for all your learning needs ad problem solving methodology uses a structured eight step approach to solve a problem these eight step are d not plan d1 team formation d2 problem description d3 contain the problem d4 identify and verify the root cause d5 corrective actions d6 validate corrective actions d7 implement preventive actions and finally d8 that is you need to congratulate your team the main purpose of this methodology is basically to identify correct and eliminate the recurring problems so ford motor company developed this methodology in late 1980s the early use of ad proved so effective that the ford motor used this tool as a primary method of documenting the problem solving efforts and they still continue to use it till today now let us look at each one of these d's in more detail one by one so the first d is d not that is planning so you need to plan and prepare for ad so before you take any action to solve a problem you need to plan to identify the appropriate people and resources that you need to do a job proper planning will always translate to a better start so thus before ad analysis begin it is always a good idea to ask an expert first for their impression the most important advantage of planning is that it allows you to put the policies in place which prevent the problem from reoccurring in the future which might impact your business time and money the second d is team formation so you start off by forming a cross functional team who will conduct the ad problem solving process you need to take out some time to pick the best resources that you will need for this job because sometime in crisis you may need to pick a particular skill set a particular specialist or even replace someone from an existing member of a team with a different person it is always critical to include people from different background like one from r&d you have from quality operations who have first hand knowledge of all this process and is always must to include two key members one is your leader and another is your champion or a sponsor so for example if it is a part problem engineer responsible for design should be included in a team and if it is a production issue you should loop in your operation guy or a manufacturing guy or any shop floor person do just don't make a mistake of thinking that ad is just a paperwork exercise that you can do from your desk this is not the case with this ad problem solving methodology the third d is d2 that is problem description that is you need to describe the problem so ad method initial focus is to properly describe the problem utilizing the known data and placing it into a specific category for future comparison you can use the 5w1h approach here if you want to know more about what is this 5w1h approach you can click on this i button above which is nothing but who what when where and why 
you can use this data and information to quantify and clarify clarify the problem into a statement so your fourth d is d3 that is contain the problem so in this case before you implement a permanent corrective action an action to protect the customer can be taken so here the temporary containment minimizes the impact the problem has on the end user while you're still busy focusing on developing your permanent solution so this is important when the product quality or safety is at risk and in some cases you may need a new processes to route around the problem until you have a permanent fix it is temporary and is typically removed after the permanent corrective action has been implemented but many auto manufacturers make error here by stopping at this point confusing the containment with the corrective action so both are different terms so sorting the mix part or cleaning up the mess that you have been created is only the symptom of a problem and not at root cause the result could be the repeated problems rising cost and the potential loss of business the fifth d is t4 that is to identify the root cause so with the problem temporarily contained in the previous step now you can turn your focus on identifying the root cause of a problem so root cause must be identified to take a permanent action to eliminate it you can use following tools to identify the root cause like five why where you ask five times why to come to the root cause then you have this fish bone diagram also known as the ishikawa diagram where you categorize all your causes in the form of 6m that is mother nature material method manpower machine and measurement and finally the pareto chart to identify the vital few from significant many the 6d is d5 that is the corrective action after your team has determined the root cause of a problem you are now in a position to identify what is the best long term solution you have brainstorming sessions combined with the tools like affinity diagram can help organize ideas based on the relationship and determine the most effective out of it the seventh d is d6 that is validate the corrective action it is worth noting that the sixth step in d8 methodology is when you are finally ready to implement the corrective action highlighting the key role of planning in d0 in this method management need to be a active participant in verifying the implementation of corrective action that means they need to be visibly present both on the shop floor and in the regular review of key performance indicators to measure the effectiveness leaders need to set an example examining the process through the eyes of a customer Ver verification could also involve tools like accelerated life testing to simulate conditions that could lead to the failure and if the problem has multiple dimensions you need to perform steps from d4 till d6 until you verify your corrective actions have addressed the problem as a whole the eighth d is d7 that is to implement the preventive action many companies rush to close the file on the corrective action itself but the real change only happens when you apply the lessons learned to the other areas to prevent the future problem for instance if you fix one piece of equipment but the same problem could occur on several other machines and equipments the corrective action then was not sustainable modify the management system operation system practices procedures sops to prevent the reoccurrence of this and similar problem make sure that the problem do not repeat themselves by implementing a preventive measure sometimes the difficult questions need to be asked in order to eliminate the root cause of a problem in that in that particular organization it is important that team member put their personal feeling to one side 
and take the actions required to prevent the problem from reoccurring. Even if the problem brings home some hard truth about the long-standing procedures and practices. The ninth D is D8 or the last D that is you need to congratulate your team. After all the hard work, don't forget to recognize your team because at its core, quality culture requires active participation from top management to the frontline operators. So everyone is involved here and that kind of engagement, the kind where the people takes personal ownership of quality is only possible when the people can see that their actions have an impact and are well recognized. This will could be a motivating factors for your employees. So these are your eight steps of 8D methodology. To summarize, 8D is a holistic systematic and a proven methodology that you use for problem solving math approaches. Let us now look at what is 8D report and how do you fill this 8D report or format. So the output of 8D problem solving methodology is a 8D report which was looks like something like this. So this 8D report was first used in automotive industry. So let, let us see now uh, what all goes in this report. So here you need to mention your company name. It could be XYZ company. Then you need to define the, your product details here. What your product number, your product name, all that stuff come, will come here. Then what is the reported problem that you are going to solve? All your team members including sponsors, your person who are going to be working in this team. The problem description in more detail and here you need to define your interim containment actions and then finally the root cause of a problem. So this is the typical 8D report format. So that is all I have on this video. See you soon in my next video.